Nine months ago, I posted my first review of the Boya BYBM 6060L shotgun microphone. At the time, my production value was the highest I could do, but in retrospect, it wasn't that great. This video is an updated version showcasing the full capabilities of this microphone and how it's grown on me over time. When I first picked up this mic in March of last year, I used it for most of my videos, however I eventually switched to a lavalier microphone and stopped using it. Now, thanks to the X5U5 wireless audio system, I've started incorporating it into more of my videos again. This means I can now have a completely wireless shotgun mic set up wherever I want without the hassle of dealing with wires. All the dialogue in this video was recorded using the Boya shotgun mic, transmitted and received through the X5U5 system, and finally post-processed in Audacity, a free and user-friendly audio editing tool. Let's talk about what you get when you purchase this mic. When it turned up, it was very nicely packaged and came with this little carry bag here, which is really useful as it can fit the mic, its shock mount, and all of its accessories in one place, preventing any of it from getting lost while traveling. The included accessories are a shock mount, a fur windshield, a foam windscreen, and some O-rings. Moving on to the mic's features, we've got a couple that stand out straight away. First of all, the design implies that this microphone is a shotgun microphone and therefore has a different polar pattern compared to a lavalier microphone or a condenser one. The polar pattern on this mic is super cardioid, meaning it is very directional, especially when compared to an omnidirectional microphone such as a lavalier, which picks up audio from all of the surrounding area rather than a focused direction. This makes shotgun microphones great for isolating noise and focusing on a subject, which is why you see them used in film and TV. My personal favorite feature of this mic is its ability to be powered by a single AA battery, which sits inside the back of the mic. This provides the mic with internal power, meaning it doesn't require phantom power supply when plugged into equipment. I use this feature to connect the mic to the X5U5 system, which can't output phantom power. I use this little Exolider 3.5mm adapter to make it work. Now I have a completely wireless shotgun mic system, which doesn't break the bank. For the price you're paying for this microphone, it has surprisingly good build quality. The exterior is made of aluminium and everything feels solid. The accessories included don't feel cheap and will last a good amount of time. Overall, this microphone is definitely worth checking out as it has some great price to performance features. That does bring us to the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.